There is a huge gap between education in Africa and America. This is coming from Stella Damasus. I'm reminiscing on a conversation between herself and daughter. She said, and I quote, I know that I am smart, but the way she talks about these things based on her studies and research shows me a huge gap between the way we were taught in Africa and the way they are taught in America. They are able to get them so interested in these subjects that these kids go real deep into research, arguments, articles, discussions, and so on. The boldness with which they are taught to defend their findings still amazes me. I pray that one day African children in Africa will be taught to research and know not just to pass. I pray that they will rise and take their place. End of quote. I think... Um, We're still in the same subject matter. What? Yeah. We're still in the same subject. Yeah, but I think... Um, no, it's the same subject matter because um, obviously education is not well looked after in, in this part of the world. And apart from that, um, a lot of people, a lot of teachers are not even properly taken care of to even start with. Mm. And then when you get into the classrooms, they'll tell you they don't even have resources to go on certain excursions that will make them see these things you're teaching them about. Like you're teaching me about history, you're teaching me about... I, I've never seen the place before. But over there, the moment I they're teaching... I think they've not demolished the place you want to take it. <laughs> but over there, the moment they're talking about it, they're probably showing you or they even, even if they can't take you there, you probably see an hologram in the classroom showing you that this is how it is. This is. If so you are going for a hologram, <laughs> let's be let's be realistic in this. No, realistic no, in this no. conversation. No, no, that's in Nigeria, but it's it is a reality in other places. Mm, I said right? be realistic in your reality. No, I'm just saying that <laughs> obviously that is what would lead to the difference. The big gap in mm. education. But aside that, I also think it's a factor of um, the teachers and how they also try to interact. It's so, good. and you cannot give what you don't have. So, mm -hmm. How are you training them? What are you making them understand? Are they seeing them, themselves as people that are supposed to guide the children or people that are supposed to lord over the children? A lot of them don't Do they even even understand know. what they are teaching? Go back to our curriculum. Exactly. What's in the curriculum? We are way... That's what I wanted to a lot say. Of them it's, it's, even, it's beyond even the teachers. A lot of them don't so, even know how to have a conversation with students hmm. to even start with. They feel like it is by shouting or whipping out your cane. It's not about that. Sometimes you just need to speak to this. They're human. They can understand you. Like, just speak and let them understand. Like she said, the way the educational system in Nigeria is built structured. or structured, it's not one where it encourages learning. It's not one that encourages you researching the facts. It's not one that encourages you... It encourages you, you read to pass. That is just what... The, as pass. somebody who just graduated from university, I can count the amount of times that personally on my own, I'll try to maybe because cause I studied microbiology out of like interest. Okay. Out of interest, I want to be like, okay, let me research further than the materials they've given us in class. Let me learn more about this particular microorganism. And then when you write the exam, you realize that you did a lot. In fact, when you wrote it, you wrote, like, you did research. And then when the results come out, you start hearing things from the professor saying that if you did not write it, if, if what you the wrote in the exam the was, not the mater was not what was in the material the that was given to you, then you are going to fail wow. that course. So the way the whole educational system is structured is one that does not encourage it learning. It does you. not. You, 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 table, you are so frustrated. You just want to pass. Have they sat down to ask themselves why the same youths that you say are lazy go are to, up to other no countries? Once they step out, you are even going. Don't even talk on. of Western. Just go to Ghana already. Come on. You see them having their A's and having the best grades in and class. And they, so they are innovative. Exactly. Have you asked yourself what the problem is? The educational system is not supporting. It does not support well. innovation. It does, it does not support creativity. It just supports following the status rigid, quo. Whatever it is that you are well. giving, give it back. So, of course, if you compare then, a, student, a, a, a student that just graduated from secondary school in Nigeria to one that just graduated from secondary school in America, there will be a huge difference in the quality of research. The, the person that is graduating in Nigeria just knows how to give it to you. And at give that point, they are very upon. clear with what they want they to want, do. They want. They know their what life. they want That's to do with their lives. So, when they are going to university, they are not going to learn something that after four years you're not like oh i want to do another course most of them already know what it is they want to do out there they focus on interest mm. they know what yeah. you're interested in so they put you where you fit in but here is like most parents even on make the school. decisions just yeah. go to school and just get go to it science done. class because you, you did not pass jam and um, you didn't get the cut off mark for law you are studying mm. uh food and nutrition yeah. do you understand like come on let's let's and just get it it's right it's another reason why i worry for those that have learning disabilities in nigeria because the way the um, the system, like I said, has been structured, it's not one that encourages. It's not like it's a one size fits all. So it's not like oh, let me cater to your specific need. Let me 
um, cater this and let me cut this um, the, the system dear, to fit you. We have a long way to so go. Unfortunately, it, it, we don't have too much time to dwell yeah. on um, Nigeria. <laughs>